that she heard him speak once and she looked at my dad and said, if he becomes a pastor here, this is our church. And here we are 20 years later. The first time that I saw Judd, I was 16 years old. That was a long time ago. And he was guest speaking, actually, at the church. And I remember, as a, even as a 16-year-old, watching Judd teach, I just knew that he was somebody who's genuine, um, somebody who is who he is, whether he's on the platform or off, you're getting the same person. I just love how real and authentic they are. I don't ever feel like they put on a face or that they're ever someone different on stage than they are off stage. So I just love how real and personable he is and how available he is. He is the same exact guy on the stage as off the stage. And he's just a real guy that I love to do ministry with. So it's pretty amazing. Pastor Judd Lawyer, Lawyer, amazing. The first time I actually heard Pastor Judd, I decided to give my life to Christ. And he was just, he's the same guy on stage, off the stage. That's what I love about him, me and my husband. He always makes us feel at home. He's just appreciative glory, he's just uplifting the woman. Uh, one of the things I love about Judd is just that you can tell him the most minute detail of your life. You can tell him just part of your story and he will remember it a week later, a month later, probably even 20 years later. And I think that is just a really great reflection of his character and his love for people and for their stories. And just his heart for everyone. The thing I've always noticed is just like the consistency of character. Like they're the same people on the platform to their home. And I just always appreciate that, that I don't have just a face of a pastor. I have a pastor who really has character. One of the key things over the years that I've looked about is compassion. Because we came to a point, there's two times I needed specific wisdom straight from him that I can remember. And one of them, he pointed back to what we said the first time we met, and I was like, he remembers that, like almost word for word. I just like impressed and just, you know that you're important to someone when they can speak to you that way. Well, hey, Pastor Judd and Pastor Lori, man, 20 years, that's absolutely incredible. I'm so excited for you guys. You guys are two people that in a world where it feels like nothing is real, you two are genuine, genuine leaders and people to our church. I'm so thankful for you guys. I can't wait for the next season, and uh, congrats again. I've always valued how much they love people, and I, that is what has set the tone for our church, and I, I've told him before that I would follow him into that if it came to it, <laughs> and I still mean that. <laughs> uh, the biggest thing with Judd, uh, the same and Lori both, and so it's made us feel like family. Um, and so when we moved here, it was, definitely out of our comfort zone and they, made, they went out of their way to make sure that we were comfortable and felt like family, felt like we were part of something. One of the things that I think I've appreciated so much about Judd and Lori's leadership is just their love for the community in Vegas. You know, Judd and Lori weren't just like saying, hey, we should do this, like they were on the front lines as well, doing it with the team and just setting that example and that tone of, hey, we're just going to love the community, we're going to love the city that we're in, we're going to care for everyone that we can reach. I love Judd and Lori's faithfulness, just the way that they have been so faithful to this community and really the mission of Central. And I'm just thankful for his influence. I'm thankful for his vision. And um, I just, I'm thankful to be part of the, the vision. Sitting with you guys as an intern and looking at me and sharing just, hey, ministry is hard, but it's so worth it. So wherever you end up, just keep chasing after Jesus and me coming on staff quickly after that, holding on to that. Um, now being in ministry seven years later, I just hold on to your guys' leadership and your encouragement and love and just know that it bleeds down into every part of our church. So we're grateful for you. So thank you for the last 20 years. Just the reason that I started coming to Central. I was, my life was falling apart and I decided at the last second to show up to church one day. He grabbed a hold of my heart when he said that you can't change people, but you can lovingly influence them. And that's what my marriage needed to hear. So I just kept coming back. The first interaction with Jeff was uh, at an Easter experience and I was just attending him. Uh, he asked me the most important question, uh, which was to name Jesus my Lord and Savior. And so that day I gave my life to Jesus and I'm so grateful for him for that. I made the decision of following Jesus here in this church. So I get to call it my home church. So Judd's message definitely impacted my life to make that big decision to follow Jesus. The thing that really got me was Judd's message, that very first message.
die. I would have heard from Judge. I don't know what it was, but he was looking around at me. And that's just such a a blessing to all of us that he had that ability to do that. He just made such a such an impact not only in my life, but in my me and my wife's life. Start coming to Central in 2007 as a non-believer and it's amazing to finally see a pastor who wore his heart on his sleeve and it was amazing to be able to give my life to Jesus when Judd said that prayer and uh, Central means the world to me, Judd is my pastor. I'm a product of this place, I gave my life to this uh, to Jesus in this place um, as a result of uh, Judd's gift and teachings. I'm just super grateful. So I love you guys. I love you who I am without you. And it's an honor to uh, to do this with you and to um, just have your perfect life. So love you guys. Thanks. Judd and Lori have been an integral part of my faith journey, but also my life. They just believed in me and have supported me. Every interaction I've had, I felt empowered and I felt such a fun here that I just want you to know that you've been an incredible leader in my life, in my family, and you are a leader that's worth following. So thank you so much for all that you've given and the impact you've made in my life personally. I, I can't tell you the blessings and I get to do this every week. And it's because of you guys. And it's really, we thank you guys so much. So much. We feel part of this huge community, this family. John Lord, it has been an unbelievable run serving with you guys all of these years. I'll never forget Gary and I sitting in your office, Jen, when we first started interviewing to come to Central 16 years ago. We're so thankful for both of you and just how genuine and authentic you are. And uh, just, it's been a blessing to serve with you. It just really instilled and reminded us of the joy of serving. So now when big moments happen in serving for both of us here at Central, both of us are saying out loud, come on somebody. So thank you, Judd, and we're bringing that to our hearts. From the bottom of my heart, I would just say thank you, Judd, for being who you are. Happy 20th anniversary, Pastor Judd. Thank you for leading in such an incredible way. I'm so excited to see all that he does through you through this next ministry. Hey, uh, Judd and Larry, we just want to uh, say congratulations for the 20th anniversary, but thank you for Thank you, Thank you so much for just showing constant love and grace. 20 years is a big deal. We love you dearly from the bottom of our heart. Thank you. Well, happy 20th anniversary, Judd and Lori. It has been awesome serving on your team. I'm just so thankful for you. I'm thankful for what God's done through you guys. We look around and just see the thousands of people that have been impacted. I love being a part of your team. I can't wait to be a part of your team for another 20 years. Uh, we'll probably have walkers, wheelchairs, we'll figure it out. We'll be fine. Can't wait. Happy anniversary. Hey, Pastor Judd, I just wanted to say thank you for just modeling where I've got a second chance is. Appreciate you not firing me. I just served with my game in your scripture. I just wanted to say thanks for your time. Pastor John and Lori, congratulations on 20 years of faithfulness, integrity, and passion leading a great move of God in Vegas and beyond. The day that you moved there, we knew it was a special day for Vegas because God brought two of the best who love Jesus and have such a heart for people. And what's happened in the past 20 years has been mind-blowing. We thank God for it, and we know what's going to happen in the future is even better. We love you, we honor you, we celebrate you, we thank God for you, and we know the best is yet to come. Happy anniversary. Congratulations, Pastor Doug, and we really go out 20 years of faithful and fruitful ministry, and I know for central, as you continue to pray, give, serve, invite, that the best is yet to come. You haven't seen anything yet. Judd, happy 20th, man. It's hard to believe, man. 20 years? Are you kidding me? At Central, and I just want to say congratulations. I also really want to say a very heartfelt thank you. I'm extremely grateful for your leadership. I've loved every moment that we've been able to spend together over the years. So congratulations, an incredible witness, 
and uh, yeah, I'm celebrating with you. 20 years, are you kidding me? Congratulations, Judd, Lauren, hey. I would say congratulations to Central, because Judd is so young, you took a chance on a punk preacher all those years ago. <laughs> Gosh, one of the most talented, brilliant, kind, and godly leaders I've ever met. So, for Church by the Glades and the Hughes family, we love you all. Congratulations on 20 remarkable years. Hey, Chad. I'm so thrilled to have the opportunity to celebrate the amazing, epic 20 years of changed lives and impact you and Lori have had at Central. And I remember on the first week in Central, I left a Bible for you and wrote inside, give a pen. And that's exactly what you've done for two decades. You've been put on God. You're still standing. You're still married. You've got two fantastic <laughs> kids that are not about to be both. And Central is thriving and heading into its greatest days. Judd and Lori, congrats on 20 years at Central Church. What an amazing, amazing accomplishment. And 20 years, that's a long time ago. 2003 when you started. Uh, just so you know, the... the the highest grossing movie in 2003 was Finding Nemo. The <laughs> top of Billboard charts was In the Club by 50 Cent. Because we're going to party like it's your birthday. That's because of the leadership of God so such a remarkable, remarkable work for Central Church. It's through your leadership that my life, among probably thousands, if not tens of thousands of others, has been shaped, formed, molded, transformed by what God has done through you in my life. What a very, very personal way. I uh, love you dearly. Uh, congrats on 20 years. Can't wait to see what God will continue to do through you. I love you a lot. Hey, Judd, congratulations on 20 years of ministry at Central. I, I cannot believe how fast the time has flown. It has been such an honor to just watch you thrive and succeed and have such a great impact on the church and Las Vegas and the communities beyond. And so congratulations and thank you for being you. I don't think anybody could do what you do and have the impact that you have uh, in, in Las Vegas and at Central. And so you are a special person and all of us are blessed to know you and to have you influencing our lives. I mean, I often say that to know Judd is to love him. And the same guy you see in public is the same guy he is in private. Whatever people talk about, like, oh, he's the same guy on stage that he is off stage. You hear that, but you're like, is, is it really? But off stage, he's able to be even closer as a friend to you. Uh, he's able to really dig in. You don't hear him ever talking about himself. Another great aspect of Judd's leadership is the ability to communicate in various settings, whether that's to a small team, whether that's to the central team, or whether that's to the entire church, uh, John's got an incredible ability to lay out the vision in a clear and a compelling way. He loves to help those who are broken, those who feel like outcasts or misfits. Um, he's always willing to help and uh, offer a hand to those who are struggling. I love that about Joe. Never once have I ever seen him uh, be anything but humble and grateful and really be in awe of what God was doing through him and through this church. Rarely will Chad brag about himself or talk about the things he does. He won't talk about his gift of wisdom or gift of generosity or gift of encouragement, his life-giving spirit, the way he really cares for the underserved or the underdog or the forgotten. That's just part of who he is. He really wants to not only live out his dream and live out his passions, but he wants to help other people do that too. One of the things I love about Chad is uh, I always, when I meet with him, I want to ask, you know, how can I serve you? And Chad goes, no, 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 no. How can I serve you? Like, that's one of the phrases he always says. He just wants to do whatever he can to help you before you help him. And I love that about him. No one else I have ever met is as authentic as him as you know he'll, he'll be the first to say that you can't have perfect balance in your life and with all that he leads with all that he has coming at him he balances it all so well he models that as a leader as a pastor he's he's a man that i just aspire to be um he, he inspires me to be a better husband he inspires me to be a better daddy he inspires me to be a better leader jeff came with an urgency to share the gospel with every 
person that he could get in front of. And grace has touched his life, and grace is what flows out of him. And so I just hope that we continue to be a church and not a better church about continuing to support and pray for, lift up our senior pastor. Let's not take for granted what health he brings us and just pray that God continues to protect that and protect him and just fill him with energy to keep going because that's just what makes us a, a better His character is exemplary. He loves his family. He loves Jesus. He loves his church. You couldn't ask for a more well-rounded, complete person to lead Central in general life. My dad has inspired me in many, many ways, um, especially when it comes to ministry, just seeing the way he works and his actions in the church really was enough to encourage me. And then it also helps that he's just an amazing father and leader and communicator, and that all of that came together and he would just really encourage me to go out and step into what I felt God was calling me to do. He can lead really strongly from a stage, but I think he even leads more beautifully and stronger one-on-one -on -one in person. And, um, you know, it's been really an honor as his wife to get to be on the front row seat for that. How we do life and ministry and church and worship Jesus together for a long time. And if it's just Jed and I in the end, then it will be Jed and I together. Serving God together.